What's up, Wolfpack fam? We have more Graham Norton shows. It's been a long time overdue, but we got a guest that I'm excited to check out. Kathy Burke, strap into your seats, and I know this is going to be good, but let's see it for ourselves. Let's do it. Snacks not included. Let's go. Mm. Uh, it starts on the 25th of June. Mm -hmm. uh, you came up with the idea, you've written it, mm. and, and it is you. I mean, it is essentially your childhood. Yeah, them two lovely girls. They're Amy Metcalf. Which one's you? Oh, can you get... <laughs> you can't get... <laughs> that's Amy Metcalf and Amy Fionn Edwards. Um, and where that's come from is uh, about a year ago, two years ago, uh, Sky did a series of, called Little Crackers for Christmas which was anecdotes from childhood. So I wrote this uh, um, incident that happened between me and my friend, who was called Mary, um, when I bumped into The Clash and got their autograph. They signed my New Musical Express. And it's, uh, it was a real sweet little story. And, I don't know, people took to it. So Sky then asked me, would I write more with these girls? So, so it's, it's sort of my life at the age of 14, 15, waiting to get into the Anna Share Theatre, which is this great drama club in Islington. And it's, it's about then. And all that happened, they just walk and talk. And you are in it yourself. Yeah, it's in the cut with me and an actor called Sean Gallagher. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> and um, I'm angry nun, and he's pretty nun. <laughs> Based on real nuns? No, they're based on me dad. Oh right. <laughs> yeah, that's me dad. Because again, reading reading about your your childhood and hearing you talk about your childhood, you could have made a very different series. You could have made quite a, a, a bleak, quite a serious film. But obviously, you see it and remember it as funny. Yeah, of course. I mean, you know, I, I didn't have a mum. You see, my mum died when I was a baby, and you know, so it was uh, quite a sort of you know, very sort of 60s, 70s upbringing, you know, it was all very rough in his little and stuff. But I do, I remember everything with such fondness, and particularly the freedom we had as kids, and it was very different to kids now, you know, that I think they're sort of wrapped up in cotton wool a bit. There's a real dichotomy going on with kids, because on the one hand, they're, they're very overprotected, and yet on the other hand, they've got access to the internet where they can see a frog shagging a donkey and... <laughs> But do you know what I mean? It's sort yeah. of showing a more innocent time and where we didn't, you know, life happened around a phone box, really, and just walking home. Well, listen, we've got a clip, and it is you and your friend uh, with a phone box having a slightly creepy encounter. Mm. Uh, no use. No. Are you sure? Yeah. There's a wee bell in my head going ding a ling a ding. It's right, and the phone rings again. <laughs> Do you think you're funny? No. Do you think you're Charlie Chaplin? No. Do you think you're Ken Dodd? No. You look like Ken Dodd. You look like one of his diddy men. No, I don't do that. Yeah, you do. You've got the hair and the hat and the teeth. You've got terrible teeth, man. Why have you got such terrible teeth? Don't be so rude. <laughs> <laughs> That's Amy Metcalf. She's really bonny in real life. She's got beautiful choppers and she's got a beautiful head of red hair. <laughs> and she's so bonny and gorgeous. And we had to break her down a bit, do you know what I mean? <laughs> to make her look rough, you know. They were both a couple of darlings. And you were still friends with people you knew from back then? Yeah, yeah, some people, yeah, yeah. Well, I've got now my, old, my oldest friend in the world, who I've known since I was four, is in the audience well, there. Where is she? Wow. Is she the lady with the microphone above her head? Yeah. That's <laughs> 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 what I am. Is Diane, are you, is this the friend who used to dress you up? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. D uh, Diane practised motherhood on me. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, she used to scrape, I had no eyebrows, I wasn't very her suit as a kid. And I had no eyebrows, so she scraped all my hair up into, it was a bobble hat, wouldn't it, Di? Yeah, a cream bobble hat. Oh, she remembers yeah. the colour. <laughs> <laughs> she used to scrape my hair up into a cream bobble hat and put me in a pram 
<laughs> and wheel oh me up God. and down the Essex Road, <laughs> telling everyone I was a baby. <laughs> And we weren't little. I mean, we were, we were about 12. Uh, <laughs> and I'd be in a prayer with a fag on, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> OK. <laughs> Baby. 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 Whoa, 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 that scared me. Guys, why was I giving some gimme, gimme vibes at the end there with that story? Uh... Obviously not quite like Gibby Gibby, but man, she, I, I, wish, I wish this was a little bit better quality. Unfortunately, that's the quality we got. Uh, really quickly, uh, shout out to Isa for the suggestion. I, I got to say with, with Kathy Burke, she can tell a story. Holy shit, man. Like you just know that she has gotten into so much damn adventures. Uh I could listen to her read uh, the phone book. She'd make that shit sound interesting if they still have phone books nowadays. They don't really have it over here. Um, but yeah, she literally could read the dictionary and find it interesting. You can just tell that someone is mad, down to earth, mad kick ass. I love that she's got that friend, uh, which she said since four years old. So keep, I mean, like, man, uh, how many people have a friendship that has lasted that long. I believe she said when she was four. Um, but yeah, when she's talking about pulling the pram there, I was thinking about her smoking uh, and gimme, gimme, gimme when she had that little uh, baby situation going on there where the two ladies have passed. So those have watched gimme, gimme with me. But this is one hell of a guest. Uh, Kathy Burke, phenomenal. I'm going to say a little bad word here, but I fucking love her. I think that everything that she does is hilarious. Um, I would love to see more stories there. So it's pretty cool that she's kind of has this, uh, I guess, show that she's produced. I, I haven't heard anything about it. So I uh, might have to look into it. it. said, I don't know when this video per se came out, but uh, yeah, maybe something to explore. Uh, we love the Graham Norton show. There's always been some great guests. Uh, I loved uh, when Graham said, oh, which one are you on the photo? Uh, I thought that was hilarious. I love that he just lets them tell the story. That's one of the best things about the show. And again, I'm not one of those guys that watches a lot of uh, shows per se, like, you know, where someone is on stage, like a, like a Jay Leno kind of show. I don't really watch a lot of those things, but allowing the guests to, to speak and just hear their thoughts. Let me, you bring in a guest on a show. It's about them. Um, and I could just listen to her all day. She could read me a bedtime story, whatever. She just, just brings joy from everything that we've seen. Uh, Harry and Lulu, uh, Gimme Gimme, uh, you know, Magda right now and absolutely fabulous. Um, yeah, we, she's a treat. So that being said, had a blast listening to her talk. Uh, you could see the glow in her friend's eyes, the love. But man, how crazy would that she be? <laughs> Tell me his own. You pretended that that's your baby. Holy shit. So uh, with that being said, I freaking loved it. Hopefully you guys got a good laugh. Grand Norton Show slays again. A lot of We've seen a lot of cool guest stars uh, on the show. This is definitely one of my favorite ones. And when they had uh, Catherine Tate uh, playing Nan uh, on the show, uh, just sort of talking about like uh, how she became Nan, uh, I thought that was interesting as well. So we'll probably link one above for you guys. But as always, thank you so much for your suggestion. Keep them rolling. And we'll see you next time. Peace and love. Much love.